Well, hi, Year 12 Central Maths. Uh, we're going to move on today and we're going to talk a little bit further about input and output tables. Um, so, if you have a look in your textbook on page uh, 330, um, it talks a little bit about input and output tables. Um, basically, what it says is that if we have a rule, some sort of rule, um, we can produce a set of output numbers if we have specific input numbers. Okay? Um, it describes it being like a machine, you put some stuff in, the machine does something to it and you get a different number out. But this is what it looks like. You have input numbers up the top, hard to see this one here, which is actually 38. Um, and then we have some output numbers down the bottom. <coughs> now if you look at work example 4, right here, okay, um, it's got a couple of input and output tables that are already done. Um, basically just a table input on the top output on the bottom um, and it's got two rules all right and it's asking you to calculate some output numbers using those two rules the first rule says subtract three from each input number so the output is going to equal the input minus three okay output equals input minus three. Pretty basically, <coughs> for my first one, the output, well that's going to equal the input minus three, so input is four, minus three will be one. Okay, next one, ten, input minus three is going to be seven. Thirty-eight, minus three is going to be thirty-five. And 144 minus 3 is going to be 141. So for that first rule, output equals input minus 3, all I do is I substitute the input in, and then I get some output numbers underneath. All right, now the second rule, which I'm doing green this time, says divide each input number by 2. So my second rule is going to be output. Notice the green matches the green. Equals input divided by 2. Output equals input divided by 2. So for the first one, 4 divided by 2 is going to be 2. Second one, we've got 10 divided by 2, which will be 5. 38 divided by 2, which is going to be 19. And 144 divided by 2 is going to be 72. So, <clears throat> in a nutshell, input and output tables, we have a rule. Okay, I put the input in to the rule. And I get an output. And that's it. All right, can you go ahead and look at questions three and four on page 334? Uh, that's some input and output tables. Um, and then next lesson, we're going to move on and look at substitution.